be no son in law. I can't take the summer off. I make it look good and all, but this is no vacation. All the goons, they respect me and I know. It. Watch your words and your tone, you're not a part. My advice, please don't try to. It's Madden NFL. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. They'll be led out by their quarterback, a product of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week. All he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that will help my team. Throwing on second and long. Brissett. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. Yeah, we're definitely in top form. And pitched a shutout, as a matter of fact. That's the cherry on top of a great week of preparation. And, you and he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Here's Tressway now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Taken right around the 44. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Play fake, Prescott being chased out left. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out of all extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive? Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As they've got it with a third down and long coming up. To throw is Brissett. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to make it fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. 
Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. It's caught inside the 25. Give him 30 yards there. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year, 16-0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade in the 2020s, so that means seven... And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott taking it in from the 20. And the Cowboys go up by two touchdowns. Extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. And the Washington offense going back to work. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. A first down throw for Brissett. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. And the commander is going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Brissett. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now before the ball changes hands, we're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And we get it. No time to waste. Playoffs starting next week. We skip right over halftime and get back to the action. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. 
But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Eluding the pressure right. Down the right sideline. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On play action, Prescott buying time to his left. This is caught. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 21 to nothing. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. They start on the ground with Robinson here. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And all. 42 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. And they're going to motion Dotson to the left. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Under pressure, and he will sent back at the 38. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Now Brissett on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Going to run again here with Pollard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good gain there on first down. That keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They're in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. Not in any rush offensively. And Pollard going to pick up a Cowboys first down as he'll get this down. To the, and now what's this? They fake the spike. He'll throw it. And that is going to wind up incomplete. So they tried to hit him with something you don't see too often. 
But it doesn't work out. Now, these two teams you might remember met earlier in the year in Arlington with the Cowboys winning that ball game. So they're looking for another win here in Washington to take the season sweep. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Pollard going to try the right side. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Four yards remain for second down. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down starting to look like this drive it may be the final nail in the coffin well this is why you work out so hard right this is why you spend all that time in the offseason this is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations these scenarios to run someone into the ground and secure a victory the run got four now they deal with a second and six They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And they will take a knee here. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pitched a shutout. So it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense.